Good morning. Good morning. So I'm Ronald and I, I will be your driver for the next part of that demonstration. So with Colin, you saw how we can detect animals and police can into darkness. Well, with a situation where the driver cannot see anything in the front of you. And now we will see the V2X communication feature where we will simulate a situation where the driver cannot see or the cameras cannot see anything in the front of him as well. So now we will simulate a regular traffic with three cars where the first car will have an emergency braking. The second car will react on the brake lights of the first car and we will do exactly the same thing with the second car. So just imagine that we are on the highway in a regular traffic, regular situation and with this three cars lined up. But for safety reason, we will use three different lanes and we will see what happens. So we will do two runs, the first one without the V2X technology and the second one with the V2X technology. Just one more thing, just grab your camera because we will have around 1G braking. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sheng, go ahead after leave. So in the second part of the demonstration with the V2X technology, we will have some warnings. But we'll talk about that later after the first one. So as you can see here, we cannot see the brake lights of the first car. So as you can see in this situation, in a real life, I would be crashed into this car, the second car. And the first car and the second car are still overlapping with each other as well. So everybody will have crashed. So now I will activate the V2X communication. So now I will activate the V2X communication. Now the first car with the antenna on the roof will send us an emergency braking signal, meaning now we have a panic situation. <coughs> the car in the middle has no V2X communication. So as I said at the beginning, as soon as we have the, that signals, we have some warnings coming up and we have some LEDs on the left and on the right side on the dashboard as well and we'll also have um, an audio one and this scenario with this one is, is called the HBL scenario that means the emergency electronic brake light scenario and it's one of the six scenarios that will be on battery by NHTSA soon that's why we are working on them right now Go. Okay, Shang, you can go ahead. So, same thing as before, but in this case, don't forget that you have to pay attention to the warnings. Seven. Same thing, we can notice the first car, right? But in this case, as soon as I got the warning, I break by myself and I save more distance between the second car and us and we will avoid the crash the two first cars are still overlapping with each other so it's the end of this two demonstrations so just to summarize you saw the night vision feature and the V2X communication feature and with these two technologies, we are one step beyond the cameras and what the driver cannot see. So if you have more questions, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I do have a question. When In the second demonstration, when you got the signal from yes. the first car, did you hit the brake pedal at all? Or did the car get that signal and then the automatic emergency braking started? It's manual braking. Okay. Here it was manual braking. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay.